and welcome back to Supper at the Family Table. Today I'm going to be participating in a collab hosted by my friend Sherry over at Southern Roots. She has been doing a really fun collab called It's a Candy Christmas. It's been happening all month long. I already had a video for it. Um, so be sure to go check out the whole playlist. There are tons of great recipes, tons of fun candy ideas if you need some really easy. They're really easy, really yummy. There's just lots of great ideas on the playlist. So I'll be sure and link it below. I'll link Sherry's channel below. And thank you so much, Sherry, for allowing me to be a part of this collab. It's been super fun. Um, and so yeah, it's been a lot of fun and we're just sharing lots of Christmas candy recipes. So there is also giveaways. There's been lives and giveaways and there's still one more left. So the day this video is going live, it'll be that day, Tuesday, uh, December 20th, and it will be at 8 o'clock Eastern Time on Sherry's page, Sherry's Southern Roots, or Southern Roots by Sherry. Um, so it'll be there, and if you're live and you have watched all the videos and commented on all the videos up until that point, then you'll be entered into a really fun giveaway. So today, I am making some really easy honey, salted honey maple caramels. So they're kind of a soft, chewy caramel. They're naturally sweetened. Um, and they're gonna be really fun. I don't I love caramel. It's one of my favorite candies So I am really excited for this recipe and I'm really excited to get started So let's keep going that good stuff and this one's super easy. It's a dump and go um, Very minimal ingredients. It is refined sugar free. So yes, this is still gonna be sugary and sweet and You're not gonna want to eat the whole thing, but you're eliminating corn syrup. You're eliminating white sugar, which are uh, highly refined process with chemicals that I like to try to avoid so I'm really happy about that. So you're gonna need half a cup of maple syrup, just the you, the, you want the pure stuff, not you know pancake syrup. And then you're gonna need a half a cup of honey. This is so easy y'all. Don't need a candy thermometer. It's not complicated. It's literally only a few ingredients. You don't need to pull out everything. It's going to be so fun. It would be such a fun little gift idea to go with a gift or something. Lots of fun. Lots of fun. So I'm going to make sure I get all of that goodness out. There we go. And then we're going to need one third cup of coconut oil. start to simmer. You're also going to add in a fourth a cup of water and then let it simmer. Sorry, I forgot that part. So we're just going to bring this to a simmer and then I will come back and take it to dinner. All right, y'all. So it started to simmer and I brought it to a simmer and now it is very bubbly as you can see. So we just want to keep stirring it constantly and cooking it until it starts to kind of pull away. Um, until it kind of starts to pull away from the sides. I'll show you in a minute. Um, and get dark in color, but this is kind of the right before stage, so just in a few minutes, it'll be ready. You see all those bubbles? A few minutes after that, your caramel's gonna get to go. All right, so as it starts to darken and simmer away here, you can check this. Now, I said you don't have to have a candy thermometer, so if you don't want to use a candy thermometer, you need a glass of cold water, and we, we want this candy to be soft ball stage, so if you are into candy making at all, you probably heard that, so take your spoon, Drop a little bit in, see how it doesn't really form. You want to test it on the candy thermometer. You don't want to trust yourself with that. You can use a candy thermometer. Hang on, let me find one. And your soft ball temp on a candy thermometer. Make sure your candy thermometer is not touching the bottom of your pan, okay? And your soft ball temp on your candy thermometer should be around 235-ish, um, maybe 240. Give it a minute because it's not, not all in that instant. And we are right about there. Yeah. 
creeping past 200. So yeah, this is actually about 2.15-ish. So I actually might go ahead and give it a few more minutes and we'll test it again. So you can kind of see the strings coming from this, but not um, too bad. So I think it seems just another couple of minutes and we'll check it again. All right, so you can see it's getting even more foamy and bubbly, so that means we're getting even closer to where we're at. All right, so we are right at 240 here on our candy thermometer, so I'm gonna show you what that looks like. Dropped into the, see? You can see big balls, soft balls. You didn't really see that very well. It's really hard to show on camera, but you'll see soft balls for me. They won't like have strings running down. So anyway, candy thermometer or uh, soft ball method, but still easy, still a lot less ingredients than most caramels. And I don't need them to be dairy free necessarily, but they happen to be dairy free if you uh, need that. So that's fun. All right, now you need to pour your caramels into an eight by eight baking dish lined with parchment so they don't stick um, and you can pull them out easy but I for some reason I don't know why I bake all the time but I don't have an 8 by 8 baking dish so this is what I usually use instead it's like a 7 by 11 or something so it's a little bit bigger but it kind of works out <coughs> excuse me um and so uh, that's what I usually do, but you can do it in an 8 by 8 pan. My caramels are just a little bit thinner, um, and that's okay. So now, we just have to let these completely set, and then we'll pull them out and cut them, and wrap them up if you want. Um, you can pop these in the fridge if you want to speed the process along. I forgot to show this part in the video, but sprinkle with some coarse sea salt for like a nice salted caramel, and it adds a really great flavor. Um, so just pull these out, cut them up into squares, and then you can wrap them up in little pieces of parchment or wax paper, which is what I'm going to do. And I highly recommend you storing these in the fridge because they were very sticky. They turned out delicious. They were so chewy and flavorful, sweet and delicious, but they were very sticky, so you would probably need to keep them in the fridge. Thank y'all so much for watching today's video. If you're new here from the collab, I really appreciate it. And if you like what you see, don't forget to subscribe. Um, if you are here from my channel, please don't forget to go check out the whole collab. Um, lots of fun, lots of fun recipes. I will link the video or the playlist of videos down below as well as Sherry's channel. Be sure and go check out the live um, today at 8 p.m. Eastern. And yeah, so thank y'all so much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe and have a blessed day.